Um, starting off with my boy Jim. Because I feel like this is this is the one that Bears fans are going to gravitate to most because we've sat on this show. We've yelled about they need somebody in the organization who cares for this organization, who's been a part of this organization, who has had experience in this organization. And that's Jim Harbaugh. I don't know how much he cares for it, but he's at least been a part of this organization. He's taking shots here. It would be a great story, just like the story of him going back to Michigan. Bears bring him in as their head coach here. Kid, do you like the idea of Jim Harbaugh making a comeback to the Chicago Bears? Of course I do. It's not Matt Nagy. So you just taking anybody at this point. That's what happens. That's what happens. I trust I trust that he is a better uh coach. Um which genuinely I do feel like he's he's a better coach. Um if it's not Ryan Day, then I would like I would like it to be him. I'm always see the I, I guess I Jim sticks out to me more than Ryan Day. I feel like Ryan Day is the name because we just, oh, he's coached Justin before, so he knows how to make him work, which doesn't always work. But true, Jim, we've seen be successful. Jim, we know at least at a minimum he knows football. The thing with Jim is Jim's like the Tom Thibodeau of the of the NFL. Jim's very abrasive. He's, he's going to tell you what he thinks. He's going to be pretty much a dictator in that locker room. And he's going to wear on people. Like, that. that's that's the only question mark that I have with Jim Harbaugh. And to me, is the NFL return worth it for? You're already, you're already God. You've, you've been at the highest level of success in the NFL. You didn't win the Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick, but you absolutely got to a Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick. You've been to multiple uh, AFC, I believe, uh, multiple AFC championship games with Alex Smith. Uh, at least one. And I'm sorry, NFC championship games with Alex Smith, at least one. And you're, you, you've you had a great amount of success in the NFL. Nobody can take that away from you. At Michigan right now, no matter what he does, he's king. He's the, he's the, the golden boy that came back home. He's the guy that, probably is is no matter what he does going to be the most beloved in the room like Michigan even if, even if you're pissed off at him it's like it's like that uh that that family member that that is just everybody loves in the family is just like ah oh, that was such a dumb thing to do why would you do that ah oh, come on jim bring it in it's all right let's get over it man you know what i'm saying so is it worth it for jim to make the nfl return i think that's the interesting thing especially coming off a 12 and 2 season A loss in the Orange Bowl, though, but twelve and two season. Loss in the Orange Bowl, twelve and two season. Maybe you're finally getting your program on track. Uh, uh, college football is very Later. different from college basketball. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like you're going to come out of here and and lose every single player that you put into that organization. Um, you you he seems like he might have finally gotten the scouting uh, uh, going in his favor for his school. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that work in the favor of Jim staying at Michigan. And let's not get stuck in. I see Cornelius early. Shout out to the Bears super fan or the Breeze super fans in here as well, man. Um, I see Cornelius early talking about Jim Harbaugh as a Chicago Bears type of coach. We've only had one coach be successful here. Let's not get hung up on the, on the blue collar type of coach. Let's not get hung up on the hard-nosed type of coach. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't need a specific type of coach in the Bears organization. We've seen one, one head coach. Well, I guess I guess Lovey made a Super Bowl. We've seen two head coaches. When you said one coach be successful here, I thought you were talking about Lovey. Well, I was talking about Ditka. You know, won the Super Bowl. But we've seen two coaches – be successful in Chicago since George Hallis. 
So let's not get hung up on what type of football coach he is. Let's not get hung up on the mentality. 